Hi, everybody. Welcome back in. I'm so grateful for your family. I love all of you so much. Don't ever forget that. I want you to know, family of God, you said what you said and you meant exactly what you said. And so many people are in awe of you. They respect you a little bit more now because you said what you said and you meant exactly what you said, family of God. And a lot of people play with their tolerance level and they respect you for not tolerating all of the games that they played with you. Now they know that you're nothing to play with. They had to find that out the hard way. You meant exactly what you said. You didn't renege on anything that you said, but a lot of people thought you were going to renege on what you said. A lot of people didn't take you serious, but now you meant what you said. You said what you said and you meant that and you stood on that. People respect you a little bit more. And they regret playing with their tolerance level. They thought it was a game. They thought it was funny. But as the days went by, as the weeks went by, as the months went by, people learned a little bit more about you. They really learned that your tolerance level was off the charts. They really realized that you're tolerance level and your cutoff game was nothing to be fooled around with family i am so proud of you you know we teach people how to treat us and we can always change that we can always change the way that we do things and i'm proud of each and every one of you for letting people see that you're a loving person, that you're a kind person. But you're just nothing to play around with when it comes to your tolerance level. But people tried you. But they tried you one too many times. And the thing that you did was cut these people off. You cut these people off so quick. I mean, you put a knife in it. And they're having a hard time dealing with it because they kept playing with your tolerance level and they thought you would never change. They thought you would never, ever change. They thought you would always go back and forth with them. They thought that, but they thought wrong, didn't they? They really did. It was nothing for you to cut people off. You tried to tell them, but they didn't believe you. And the reason why they didn't believe you is because so many times you went back on your word not because you were weak you were trying to let people know that when you're really and honestly truthfully made up in your mind not to do something anymore or to turn your back for good you weren't going to turn around toward them and they didn't believe you so they tried you one last time they tried you one too many times they tested your cutoff game. They tested your tolerance level the last time. And they thought you were going to turn back around, but you didn't turn around to them. You kept your back turned to them. And I'm so proud of your family. Life is nothing but a bag of lessons. We're all in school and we're always learn learning. We will forever be learning. Did you know that? We're always learning something different. We're always learning something new. Look at life that way. Look at the things that you go through with and the things that you're overcoming. These are lessons that God allows us to learn. And this is how you grow. Whenever we are growing, that means we are learning. And if we're not growing, we're not learning. But you taught somebody a real valuable lesson that you're just nothing to be played with, family. You're nice, but you're not weak. You're kind, but you're not simple-minded. People can see how spiritual you are. They can see how powerful you are, family. And things had to happen the way that they did. It couldn't happen any other way. It happened when it was supposed to happen. It happened how it was supposed to happen. And it happened with who God ordained it to happen. 
You taught a lot of people lessons in life. And they taught you some too. We all learn. So what are you going to do with the lesson that you learn? You're going to take that bag of lessons. And you're going to make it into a masterpiece. You're going to make it into something absolutely amazing. They regret pushing your buttons a little too far. People regret messing around with your tolerance level. It was funny then to a lot of people when they kept doing things to you intentionally to see how much you could take. It was funny to a lot of people when they were pushing your buttons to see how much you would tolerate from them. See, it was a game to a lot of people because they thought you cared more than you did. And a lot of people got this not right with you. They didn't get it right with you. They missed the boat with you. They got it wrong. Now they see why you stuck and you stayed. It wasn't because you were weak. You knew when you made up in your mind not to ever turn your face toward them again, you wouldn't do it. So some people in your life have learned a real valuable lesson when it comes to your tolerance level. You taught somebody something real good that whenever you put your foot down, it stays down. Whenever you open your mouth and you said, this is it, I'm done, this is my last time. Oh, they didn't believe you, but they really believe you now. They regret pushing that last button. They regret pushing you to the level where you would turn your back for all eternity with no grudges, with no malice in your heart, with no hate in your heart, with no envy in your heart. You did everything you did for you. That means you turn your back on someone for you. And that was the greatest thing you could ever do for yourself. Now I encourage all of you to keep going forward. Know when to stop. Know when to go. Know when to pull back. And know when to give yourself. And know to who to give yourself to. Because everybody is not worthy of you. Everybody is not worthy to sit at your table. Everyone is not worthy to walk alongside you. They're not. We love you here, family. We thank God for you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like, and share our videos. Keep liking that. Keep liking our videos, okay, family? We want to continue to reach more people that are hurting, that are broken, they need, that needs to hear a word of encouragement, that needs to hear a word of inspiration, motivation, and empowerment. We are helpless one to another, family of God. Iron sharpens iron. People see how quick. You got to cut somebody off. You cut a lot of people off that didn't think that you had the courage to do it. They didn't think you had the nerve to cut them off. They thought they would always be able to push your buttons and to see how much you would tolerate for the rest of your life. They thought they would always be able to do that. But the last time was their last time. And I'm proud of you. You keep your foot down because you're going places. Your faith is taking you somewhere. It is. God is going to teach you how to do life. God is going to teach you so many things. So stay before the Lord. Stay in the presence of the Lord. Stay prayerful. Because the more you pray, the more powerful you're going to become. Please don't get scammed on our channel, family. You see the scammers in the comment section of our videos. When you get a reply with my fake picture icon or anybody else's icon, Please delete that reply and continue to report these people. I am not reaching out to me, to you. I am not reaching out to anybody. So please be alert. Please be aware. Because the devil knows the things that you're needing. And he'll send someone in to distract you. Be careful whenever you're at a weak moment. Because when the enemy knows you're at a very weak, vulnerable moment, this is when he comes in for the kill. So keep your heart guarded and you stay covered in the blood of Yeshua. Your tolerance level is off the charts. It is. I'm so proud of you, family. You took a lot. And whenever you, whenever a person sees how much that you take, they can take that the wrong way. 
and they took that the wrong way where you're concerned. You kept taking things for certain people because you really didn't want to do what you wanted to do. You really didn't want to put your foot down, but people kept pushing you. They kept pushing your tolerance level. They kept pushing your buttons. And you got tired. And you put your foot down and you turned your back. And that was exactly what you were supposed to do. We love you. We'll talk later, family of God. Bye-bye.